Marine life, geography, and many more scientific items were all displayed at the National Science Fair on Wednesday, and DeAndre Hamilton has the details and some exciting exhibits. Absolutely brilliant is the idea for a science fair, and even more impressive, the exhibits at the fair, which ran for two days at the Gustavus Lightbourne Sports Complex in Provo. The Department of Education is hosting the first-time event, and Deputy Director of Education, Mr. Edgar Howell, said they hope to inspire as they reward and create an avenue for scientific exploration, analysis, and results. It's a science fair and so they're going to be expected to have their display out for students to be able to explain what's going on, what are some of the variables, why is it important based on the theme that we have for Science Fair. And that theme is caring for the Turks and Caicos' environment is our responsibility, sustain, preserve and enhance. And the students loved it. Eager primary schoolers from all over the country delighted in displays by PPC, which highlighted safety in dramatic fashion. The Turks and Caicos National Trust, where students got a better understanding of iguanas. Environmental Health Department, which had a myriad of interesting gadgets, which enabled their efforts in public health. The Department of Environmental and Coastal Resources, which highlighted the Troubadour slave ship search, among other things. Clement Howell High School had two ideas hydroponics and solar power desalination, H.J. Robinson on saving the historic Grand Turk Salinas, and Marjorie Baston out of South Caicos, who illustrated their solution to easing away from landfills. Well, we did an experiment on the negative effects of men's activities on the environment. So we did some research on things that men do, that, contrib that they contribute to, like pollution, and other aspects of the environment are being slowly deteriorating based on the effects of man. And we wrote up a solution plan, ways that we can carry out such activities but not having such a negative effect on our surrounding ecosystem. Our display today is on hydroponics. And hydroponics is growing, growing plants without soil. So that means that water is inside here with nutrients because what the soil mainly does is supply nutrients to the plants. But we found a way that we can just use water and nutrients to go to plants. There is a science quiz still to come to which the public is invited. On Friday evening at 6 o'clock, we expect to have uh, five of our schools participating in a science quiz. Um, students will compete for a prize, a trophy, floating trophy, and um, perhaps a cash award. But we wouldn't say anything until Friday night. Okay.